Have you ever dreamed of having Superman's X-ray vision? What would you do if you could see through almost anything? Sounds pretty good, right? Well, maybe it's actually not as good as it sounds. X-rays can pass through less dense materials and are absorbed by denser materials. This makes X-rays useful for scanning things like broken bones as it will easily pass through the less dense muscle and tissue and be absorbed by the dense bones. But try to X-ray through anything denser than that muscle and tissue and you'll have no luck. But what if I told you there was something better? What if I told you we could X-ray through the bone? And not just any bone, but a bone hundreds of meters thick. The answer lies in the outer reaches of Earth. If you could look up into the sky, past the atmosphere and down to the atomic level, you'd see cosmic rays. High energy protons and atomic nuclei that move through space at nearly the speed of light, produced mostly by supernovas. When these primary cosmic rays enter Earth's atmosphere, they collide with atoms and molecules, creating an air shower of secondary particles like protons, neutrons, electrons, or what we're here to talk about, muons. A muon is a fundamental particle that interacts with gravitational, electromagnetic, and weak nuclear force. It's very similar to an electron, with the same spin and the same charge. However, its mass is 207 times that of an electron. If an electron were to travel into a material, it'd be slowed down greatly by electromagnetic interactions and premature lung radiation, or electromagnetic radiation produced by the deceleration of a charged particle when deflected by another charged particle. Because a muon is 207 times the mass of an electron, it means they decelerate very slowly in electromagnetic fields and emit very little premature lung radiation, giving them the ability to penetrate deep into the densest of matter. Because a muon still does experience electromagnetic interactions, it is sometimes deflected by electrons. This means while muons can travel deep into dense material, a muon detector can determine the density of those materials from the deflection of the muons. This practice is called muon tomography and was used in 2017 when two independent teams found a new hidden chamber in the Pyramid of Giza. Here's an analogy to help explain. Imagine cars driving down a highway where someone has conveniently placed barricades in the middle of the road. When the cars approach the barricades, they swerve to avoid them and a few unlucky ones hit the barricade. The higher the atomic number or the denser the material, the more barricades are placed in the highway, causing more cars to avoid or bump into barricades. If you can detect how many cars are being deflected, you can determine the identity of the material. Scientists are furthering the applications for muon tomography, with plans for detecting nuclear materials in an effort to promote non-proliferation, assessing damages in nuclear disasters like Fukushima, or scanning underground to locate potential areas for carbon sequestration. With its various applications, muon tomography holds a promising place in the future of our world. Thank you.